Welcome to Sports Matters TV, bringing you exclusive interviews, live shows, breaking news, and exclusive podcasts. Check out our website, www.sportsmatters.tv, or call into our office today. Sports Matters TV and Media on McCurtain Street, Cork City. Check out our sponsors, the McCo Casino Cork, and iFix Computer and Phone Sales and Repairs in Blarney. Proudly filmed by Deep Red Productions, Sports Matters TV, bringing the sports home. Okay, welcome to Sports Matters TV. We're at the home of Sports Matters, the McCo Sporting Club, right in the heart of Cork City. Uh, this man, he's not a, he's not a shy on camera. He's a fairly good flow about him. Uh, easily one of the biggest promoters in Europe. Um, done massive things with Siam Warriors over the last couple of years. And we have a super show October 13th uh, at Neptune Stadium. It's going to be fabulous, and we're here to talk about that. First of all, Mayor, how's things with you? All are good, no, all's good. You've come straight from uh, from the, the headquarters, I suppose. Yeah, just straight from the Saturday session there, now, like, you know, the lads tipping away, especially as we have a work up on now, definitely don't to the last hard, hard bit of graft. They're all putting in six weeks to go, so the tempo is really up here now for the lads, like, you know. And I, I always watch the videos pop up on, uh, on Facebook. There's always a great atmosphere there, there's always hard work been put in from start to finish. Uh, what's it like to have such a great, uh, great team and, and fighters in general? Really lucky at the gym, really. Like, you know, there's a big, there's a big, big mix up at the gym. There's obviously we've really good level guys, even all through the years, like um, uh, from Seamus Cogan, Shane Cadigan, all older lads, um, and national good level lads like uh, Willie Murphy. They were all with us through the years, like say a yeah. decade ago. They continued to um, Willie and Seamus. So I was popping training. Now we've a new generation. Aaron obviously did really well for himself from yeah. Europe and fought in Japan and. Yeah. And even Ryan Sheehan has come on the last couple of years up to world level, done really big shows. And then we've new generation, new guys now again, like, you know, likes of um, Finn Keating, uh, Keen Harley, Mark McGahey, Aaron McGahey, just a big, big mix. And now it's, we have plenty of people just popping in for the training sessions. And there's always a really good atmosphere in the gym, which is excellent, like, you know. I love seeing I've seen a bit of banter with Keen Harley, and he had the glasses on for the picture. There was yeah. a few lads having a laugh at that, but he's, he's a serious fighter, to be fair. He's a fit, excellent engine on him, real, real, um, real trains all the time like I couldn't ask for couldn't ask for better lads and that like just turn up and, and train and put in the effort it's not just turn up and having a mess around key and puts in the effort he trains hard when I finish my class and my my training key is back on the floor he's doing his own routine like which is what you want for the fighter like you know putting the effort it's probably dedicated like we have to talk about like um like we we talk about the new generation and of course the old generation man like you've been there from day one yeah like You've seen it grow from strength to strength. Uh, what, what was it like, first of all, starting off? And of course, you know, I, I'll call yourself and Seamus and lads like the Godfathers, the guys that kind of put it on the map. But like, how do you think it's, it, it took time, or do you think it's happened so fast now that it's been incredible? Uh, it, it, it takes time. Like you know, obviously, um, uh, MMA has the, the big spotlight from American audience, and American yeah. TV makes it huge. So everyone, everyone can see that. Like you know, Toy is more from. More from the east, like so, you know, you've you've a language barrier when you're watching a yeah. toy box, even though it's very exciting and the fights are really full on. Like you, you don't have that, um, you don't have that commercialism about it, like you know. Yeah. So you're left out to the main mainstream audience, like. But anyone, the shows I've done in Cork, like have have really um, even outside of like you'd say friends and families mainly go to shows. Yeah. No, I think uh, the shows in Cork are for the Cork public. Uh, you know, they're, they're into the shows and even people who've not got to do it any gyms around and do the fighters when they know shows come up they actually come to these shows so yeah. you know, at local level it's a bit more mainstream now like and uh, it is growing Thai boxing is growing like you know and especially MMA a lot of the big stand up fighters do, do the Thai and they're, they're associated with good Thai trainers like you know they do like we've seen so many big super shows like some hard to believe like even with the names that have been over like it's been incredible but how do you find the multitasking of being a, a coach a trainer and then promoting because I know and then he's promoting something, and especially this bigger scale. Like this is a big show, yeah. MMA, and you know, multi. It's it's we've got so much involved in that one show. But how are you finding it? First of all, like you look cool as a breeze. You you seem to manage it well. Yeah, I'm I'm used to it. Like you know, I, I do take a lot on. I take I take um, um, but I like to, as I said, uh, your own fighters are good guys around the country. I like to develop them. Like can yeah. you know reach a level like we have this new thing now for the the younger new generation fighters with ten plus or. Uh, you know, some of the lads have ten wins even like um Key and Harley there you know, he's about ten wins under yeah. his belt. More actually he's about fifteen fights, ten straight wins. Uh Finn Keating and and, and his opponent are 
practically unbeaten. Um, so they're in this new Silver Series tight we're doing, which will defi- it's be the first time no full rules, yeah. but we will be with the elbow pad. So it's just introduce them to becoming an A-class fighter, so they have something to aim for, and they'll have a title at the end of it. As we're in Thai boxing, like every MMA show around the country would actually have a belt on their show, say like which particular show you get a belt for winning the fight basically like you know you're champion of that show yeah. as we're as we're on Thai box in this country you only have the national belt so, so we've introduced new silver series type, something for the younger lads to aim for or the newer lads to what? just a stepping stone to go to a national title yeah. after that then like we have like European titles and and so on you're going on and you want to get on the big shows and, and Thai box type of sport is it's not necessarily how many wins you have and keeping that straight it's, it's who you fought you know who you fought from another country was particularly good that's how you're judging the sport like you know yeah. um, so that's something for these newer lads and for now the silver series title which has been introduced on this, on this big event we have as in as a run of the whole event for this one we have MMA yeah. and we have Thai so we're going to have the ring and the cage epic and so it's going to be a real exciting night it's going to be um Thai main events when the MMA finish Thai main events will take over but they will run simultaneously earlier on the night and then you, we, we're teaming up with Lion Fight for this event which is, which is huge in America yeah. they're on uh, Access TV over there Friday Night Fights and um, all their big fighters there their champions there Fabio Pinka um, Yudson Cloy uh, all their champions are well known big big top names so it's, uh, it's, it's big for us to be involved with something like that and our fighters will be on that stage and we have um Wayne Cambridge is going to represent us then against an actual American fighter from uh, his name is Eddie Abasolo. Yeah. So they call him Silky Smooth. Really, he's a highlight reel yeah. spinning elbow. Mm. Wayne's a highlight reel couple of spinning elbows. He just won his last um, Irish title for yeah. it with a spinning elbow. So Wayne's a big, big challenge ahead of him there. And all like, but we're up for it. And that's 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 home. My gym, Sia Mario's gym, and how we all made our name is taking on big challenges and going for the big fights and look put lads in against guys well well more experienced but we've come out well out of them like you know and that's yeah, that's how you yeah. in in my opinion and in the, the way we operate in the gym go for a, go for the juggler and go, go for the big fights yeah that's, yeah that's the way we do it like you know I've seen Wayne's video went viral mm-hmm. um, a beautiful finish uh, that was shared all around the world uh, like these these guys like you, your fighters in general they're more than household names though they're, they're known on the world map uh, we've seen what Ryan's done yeah. the, the media spotted around him when he was on Tokyo and stuff uh, they're obviously taking it on their stride it's, it's something that they really enjoy but obviously they're getting the job done and they're, they maintain the focus and, and the composure they need you know yeah yeah like we like, like in the gym like we, we operate when they're, when they're just tipping away they're tipping away fights but uh, the, the intensity picks up when they're going for big fights like so um, obviously they're training in the classes and I operate single handedly with them like, and I, yeah. I, I work the lads hard when they're going for bigger fights like you know so and they, they have training partners as well at the gym like you know, guys who haven't been fighting for a while will jump back and help them out and yeah. the sparring comes pretty heavy and uh, so we're always working we're always trying to work towards the big shows and the big things and get get what we can out of the sport like you know definitely Clancy's coming back yes. uh, we have the MMA bouts John Mitchell great fighter um, you know there's this it's a serious card mm-hmm. and people they'd be going mad to miss it basically yeah it's a, it is it is a big night like Clancy takes on a big massive fight from a current fighter who fights in Lumpini Stadium which is the mecca in, in Bangkok itself yeah. he's after four KO stoppage wins by, by heavy kicks and head kicks Clancy's in for an incredibly hard fight but as I say like we're with the Lion Fight promotion they want they've, they're uh, they're very close connections to Fairtex yep. Hudson Clay is their champion mm-hmm. so we have Tong, Tong Fairtex big big um, name in their gym yep. he's coming here his training partners are are like Yurt and Clay, so yeah. Clancy's in for a big test again. So it's not easy. It's not. It's not going to be easy. But Clancy's when Clancy's on form, he can he can really grit it out, and he can he can surprise many a top fighter. Like and know. he's fought the best. Like you know, yes, yeah. he's been he's been in there. He's lot yeah. as I say, like you lose fights in, in Thai box and you bounce back. But he has he has competed against good level guys on Max uh, against Max Muay champions, which would be a big big stadium show in Pattaya in Thailand. Like you know, and then on the MMA side of things, we have four. We've a nice representation for Cork. Yeah, we have like John Mitchell who's up and coming in the amateur ranks. He's probably about to step into pro. I don't know. Yeah. we'll have Jack Maguire on the show, um, and then for the pro fights we have uh, Dylan Manning and uh, Dylan Sheen who represent their gyms. Like so, we have a nice mix across uh, the Cork MMA s- circuit. Like you know, they're tanks. The lads yeah. are actually like you know when you when you hear um, you know you see the status is going up. 
uh, who, who's the biggest and the best. The lads are always in the mix, their names are always there. Yeah. So th- when it comes to Cork and MMA in general, like, they're the biggest names you've, you've brought in and the, it's, it's just it's going to be a phenomenal show. That's it, like it's a, they're the main lads, each are from different gyms, so, yeah. so they, have, they have a platform on the show to be, so anyone in Cork is just reading about them, their, their status is saying, oh, I won here up in Dublin or I won here somewhere else. Yeah. They're getting to do it in Cork now and uh, they're getting to do it alongside um, a Thai boxing event which is which is really high standard as well like so both shows should complement each other Definitely. and we'll have the we'll have the crowd to complement both shows as well like so we're really looking forward to it that way like you know it's, it's yeah. different but we've done different shows before we've done the Cage Kings which was brought the two communities together as yeah. well and they were big big nights so this is another one just uh, as I say both shows will complement each other and both shows will be surprised at uh, what's going on in the other side of things like they're, you know they're going to be enjoy- I can't wait no, we, we have to ask a couple of questions Martin uh, I, I, I was at your last fight and I thought you nipped it are you going to come back fighting I know you, you, if, 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 if there was a fight there or, or something tickled the fancy as and you wanted to maybe you know, have a certain rematch with someone or something like that yeah. would, would you be willing to do that well so you've got to take a few factors into account like um, um, one is a, <laughs> I think I'm heading nearly to 27 or something like that so uh, that's one and then um, as you say, like they're big shows, so I have all that to do, like as well, like you know. It, yeah. It'd be great to switch off. As a fighter, you've got to be a bit selfish, like you know. Of course. You've got to be focused, and um, it's it's hard to focus when you're dealing with visas and shows yeah. and people walking up to you before the show is starting and, yeah. and and jumping in at your own show, like you know. Obviously, I'd like to fight on my own show because it's quite a big atmosphere. It's a big show to be fighting on. Yeah. Um, but uh, I've I've a lot less to look after, like even when even when I fought. Um, uh, on a big show there about two years ago, uh, Sean Clancy and Ryan Shearer were fighting Japanese fighters. There were big fights for them, like you know. Yeah. So you're concentrating on them. You have obviously have to look after all the, the other lads coming up through the gym as well. So it's a lot to put on. It's yeah. a lot to put on, like you know. So yeah. I remember because I remember when you came out for Ryan's fight, and you literally just fought, like yeah, you know. So I think that like you had a bit of a cut as well. Like it was such a battle, but like yeah. you just got on with it. Like and, made a few cuts. <laughs> yeah, you did. But I tell you, it was yeah. a great fight. I must say. Yeah. So like. You're not going to rule it out. It could be possible down the road if the right circumstances. Yeah, do you know, no, do you see, I'm only finished this morning. There, no, I still, yeah. I still spare away of the lads and, yeah. and and stuff like that. Like, and I still keep relatively fit. Like, you know, so I do a train every day with the lads and stuff like that, and they push them. But obviously, when you're training other people, you need to step back and not go the whole thing. But uh, yeah, it'd be something like you know, you obviously have to have jump back in. Like, even in that particular fight, there, no, like I jump straight in at. Yeah. Say let's say Irish title level mm-hmm. straight in against the champion. Yeah. Did five trees, which I hadn't done in probably a decade. Like you know, because <laughs> it, it was always away from now. I was concentrating on everyone else. Yeah. So um, you know, there's not too many fellas who jump straight into uh-huh. a big, big championship fight. And um, how many thoughts you wanted to be fair, like you know, well, I did. I, yeah. I rocked from my ear from round one, so I yeah. didn't. I, I the first three rounds were a blur to me. Yeah. And by the time I figured out what was going on. Yeah. was four and five and I would been better off I was doing better on the other ones when they didn't know what yeah. was going on <laughs> but as I say fatigue then and like as I say you're starting to it does it does take effect when you're starting to go into the championship round so you know it's a, you know I was a type fighter you know I just you go, go, for go for it like and, yeah. and that was it yeah. no look some fights you go for it some fights aren't working out for you but uh, look gave what I could on that night anyway like, you know? it, was, it was a great fight what about after I was asking about Aaron We've had Aaron on the show. He was one of the first interviews. Will Aaron ever come back, or is he just too busy with the business? Obviously, he's training as well. But yeah, he's a fairly unique business here. Yeah. Only launching Cork, uh, Cork uh, Cryotherapy. Yeah, so he's right. very busy with that. Like you know, he's treating a lot of um, athletes from around the city, and they're they're getting great. Um, so yeah, yeah, from yeah. that, like you know, and um, so I think Aaron was at a spell. He was doing really, really well for himself. But uh, yeah. but the thing with Aaron is he's about 16, 17 years old. He was doing like six, seven hard hair fights yeah. there, like so yeah. he was doing a lot of fighting like you know and um um you know things can things can you know when you do so much but you need a little, yes, bit, of, little yeah. bit of a break and then you're picking yeah. up a lot of injuries because he did have hair fights like yeah. really hair fights and he got to fight in japan he was nitty and big shows and 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 stuff like that like so i think aaron's last few fights like he mightn't have been um a hundred percent what he was two years beforehand yeah. but we did the fights anyway yeah. but I'm sure he could bounce back if he put in, puts in the effort oh, again yeah. Look, he's traded he's traded uh, shots with some really good lads like, yeah you know, and he's done well he's, he's really always well you know. like you know and we done we done well in where no one else was about like you're, you're on yeah. your own out in Japan you're on your own out in Belgium Italy and there's no one else to cherry on and big shows like you know Definitely. so he's done well that way you know, I must say I'm always impressed with the shows now obviously 
October 13th is going to be huge. Are you already planning for next year, or is that just something you, you're going to wait? Oh, no, we have uh, in Dublin, there's another event um, that we're involved in, is a uh, Capital One. Yeah. And oh, well. uh, that's a showcase event in Dublin. And um, with Toby, the Weapon Smith, will be Australia's top, top Muay Thai yep. fighter, probably one of the best um, super middleweights. Uh, Muay fighters in the world. Yeah. He's aggressive. He's so aggressive. All anyone has to do with it in all the sports. Type in Toby the Weapon Smith, and you'll see this man superstar. Yeah, superstar yeah. in Australia, and he's coming. He's coming to Dublin. His opponent hasn't been announced yet, but that's going to be a big night in Dublin. Can't wait for that. Mar- we'll- that's a March, and then we'll have everyone say um, super fights for the gym as well. And um, in February as well, so there's two big, two big shows rolling one after the other next year. Definitely, we always see the big toys come in, and I've always uh, like I love the way you tease us all and all that. Do you reckon we'll ever see the, the boy Buko come? I know obviously he's got a uh, maybe a huge fee, and then he's yeah. <laughs> but do you reckon maybe down the road it could, could happen? Maybe who knows? The, the likes of Buko can get six figures, and yeah. you know it. Uh, it they, they, they fight. They're fighting once a month, once every six yeah. six weeks a year. But they're all making big, big money on the Chinese uh, Chinese promotions now. So yeah. it, it's it's actually quite hard to get them to Europe now. Yeah. Uh, a couple of years ago, you would have got them, but now they, a lot of the toys and a lot of big big fighters are going straight to China. Yeah. They have massive media deals, sponsorship deals, and Different. the production is like is like something like tr- unbelievable. Yeah. And uh, that's where they go automatically because that's that's where the big is. money is yeah. for them. And there's also a lot of uh, probably gambling money involved as well. Yeah, so that's where politics, we're going. Like, you know? yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, the, yeah. I tell you, that the fighters you brought over over the last number of years have been incredible. We've yeah. seen some greats, and I know long that's going to continue. Mm-hmm. Uh, how's Roy looking? Unfinished business is going to be a big Roy, fight. Yeah, he's, he's, he's strong. Like he's always there. He has a fought now since last uh, February. Yeah. So um, he's, he he was very unlucky not to take the win that time. He was in against he was in against a, a recognised. Toy fighter, yeah. uh, his nickname is Mr. Knock. Tempest at Sitman Choi from the famous Toy Gym, yeah. who has 101 KO wins. That's 101 knockout wins, like yeah. you know. And you could see from his frame how strong he is. Ryan gave him a really, really hard fight, and he yeah. was very unlucky not to walk away. Yeah. You know, I think the only thing that went against him that fight, it's st- balancing is, is is a part of the scoring system in Thailand, like and yeah. he was, you know, d- attempts to throw him down once or twice. Yeah. But Ryan was the, ag- the aggressor, probably the stronger fighter coming into four and five, and he, he was hard done by there. I think, you know, looking back, not because he's my fighter, it's my gym. Yeah. But uh, a lot of people said he was hard done by the referee. Was looking, going, what's going on here? When he had to raise the two hands. But look, the rematch is on. We're delighted to be involved in lion fight. Yeah. Big fights like that have got us well noticed around the world and Europe. In America, we see Scott yeah. Kent from Lion Fight wants to deal with us, and uh, looking forward to the future. Not only for Ryan, as you see, Sean Clancy gets the big fight against Fairtex Gym. Yeah. Wayne gets to fight a top American fighter, mm-hmm. and uh, long may I continue now. And, and the lads, my newer lads, will step up and and start coming through. I've no doubt in the world that they'll come along. And not only on my lads, other Irish lads will get to piggyback on my show to get their name out there, like you know. What? So, man, you're a legend, and you're you. you're credit to Cork and Irish people. Thanks very much, lads. Thanks. Thank you. Pre- a huge thank you to our media partners, Suit Distributors Cork and Shooters Pool and Gaming in Blackpool. Sports Matters TV, bringing the sports home.